Amateur Exhibition. It's our great honor to uh, have all of you here in what is one of the oldest amateur shows in the entirety of the Midwest. So thank you for coming. In spite of our name, the McLean County Arts Center is not is not a government entity. We are not uh, afforded monies from the city of Bloomington or the town of Rome or the county of McLean. In point of fact, we are an independent 501c3 nonprofit, and we are dependent upon support from our community in order to offer this and all of our other programming. So uh, I encourage you that if you are not currently a member, that you please consider joining our membership. Normally, in a normal state, and I'm sure other places, they get money from their, their state arts council. In point of fact, we have not received money from the state of Illinois for two years. So it is more important than ever that we receive uh, support from the community, primarily through membership. So I encourage you to pick up a membership brochure on your way out, and please join, because I think, and I think most of the people in the room will agree, that the arts are fundamental to ourselves, and our, our community. So, so please consider joining. First, I'd like to thank our sponsors. It is those individuals and businesses which have afforded the sponsorship of this exhibition and, for a select few of you, the prizes. So, Alpha Graphics and Charles and Laura Bow, The Copy Shop, Gay Dolan, Charlotte and Roger L., Susan Emerson, Francois Associates Architects, Dennis French, Linda Willis Fisher and Robert Fisher, Globo's Original Kettle Court, Allison and Brian Hatcher, Aaron Hinkleman and Lori Baum, Jan and Ken Holder, Dave and Sandy Holt, A Life and I, Alexis and Kalis Johnson, Cola Romer's Camera Club of Women's Normal, Luca Grill, Susan and John Mindenhall, Reed and Kathy Richards, and the Ashley Ritter Memorial Fund. And finally, Jack and Linda Ritter, Diane and Ronald Skidmore, Robert and Connie Steffel, Selasky and Webb CPAs, Barbara and Bill Taft, Mark and Deborah Thurston, Timothy Kent Gallery and Framing, Unique Designs, Steve and Deb Wanamaker, and Lynn and Patsy Weber. Let's give a round of applause. staff, interns, and board. There is a very quick turnaround time to, to put together a show like this. And it was our interns and our board members and the staff members who collected your work. It was the staff members who hung this exhibition in a very quick turnaround time. So we're very appreciative of, of all of that. Furthermore, I'd like to give a, a special thanks to our own Claire Hedden. Claire is our... us for six years and this is her last exhibition she's installed. Claire has been a, a true wonder for us and wherever she moves to next we'll be very lucky. We've been very very fortunate to have her with us. She's, she's been amongst the best staff persons we've ever had. Again. <laughs> Roberts is the, the judge for this year's show. Stephanie is a professor at the City Colleges of Chicago. She teaches at Truman College. If you've had the chance to look at the gallery next door to us, the Armstrong Gallery, it is a solo show of Stephanie's work. There is an exhibition video you can watch where she talks about uh, her exhibition and her artwork, and her opening will be next Friday, so you can meet the artist. We had 282 artworks submitted, which is probably a record. It's a huge number. And we had 124 that actually made it into the show. So if, if you made it into the show, it was a tremendous accomplishment this year, much more so than usual. So give yourself a round of applause. First, we begin with the high school category. Our first category is second place sculpture, and that goes to Spencer Ecton of Hayworth High School. Spencer. <laughs> On behalf of Spencer. Yes, thank you. Our teacher. Our teacher. <laughs> 
and high school first place sculpture is Ashley Spencer, no relation. Next, second place high school graphics. Cecilia Fossil.
sculpture. Jenny Clay. most promising award was given to um, a work of art that had a lot of interesting technical kind of exploration happening. The medium was used in different types of unexpected ways. The artist is kind of looks like maybe painting with medium, maybe pushing it around with her fingers, maybe doing some kind of stamping or printing with, the, with something. So it was very mysterious in terms of how the piece was put together, but I find it, found it very interesting and intriguing to look at as a composition. And our award winner is uh, Gina Campbell. And for the Merwin Medal, the Best in Show Award, um, I chose a piece that was very uh, highly detailed in terms of its use of oil painting. The, um, the subject matter was also compelling in the kind of directness of the portrait. And I also felt like it was quite expressive. So even though it was technically kind of facile and interesting and detailed, there was also an interesting kind of directness of the subject matter, I felt like, with the viewer of the painting. So very highly detailed and technically proficient, but also very um, kind of impactful in terms of its effect on the viewer. And for the first time in many years, we have reintroduced the actual medal designed by Hester Merwin as part of this prize. This is the best of show, and this year goes to a high school student, Jada Jump. My name is Jada Jumper. I'm a senior in Bloomington High School, and this is my oil painting, and it's called Surface. Um, this is John Ross, and I, he's an albino model, and I chose to do him because of um, 
my own struggles with classification and my family and not really feeling like I belong to either side and kind of feeling caught in between both sides of my family. I started painting in my high school art class. Um, my first painting was in December. Um, I use oil paints and I usually start with um, a ground and then I do my underpainting and then I add on color after that. My teacher, Mrs. Estabrook, showed me how to do all of it. I've been interested in art ever since I can remember. Mm -hmm.